Yo, yo, I'm back like I never left, man. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. This is Cost TV. If, you, if you've been under a rock, it's Cost TV. I took a little hiatus because I've been um, working on my YouTube studios. As you see, it's a different look. I'm going to give you a whole different vibe um, coming soon. But I've been working hard at it, and I've been getting a lot of messages like, Yo, Cost, what's up with the next video? What's up with the next video? Um, honestly, um, while I was working on my studio... A couple of topics came to my head, and one and and one was um, why do bad things happen to good people? Uh, I I made two stories. My final, my last two stories. I did one of a sixteen-year-old girl who was just coming home from my old high school, and she gets shot and killed. To so one guy was shooting at another guy. Of course, gang members, young ga gang members, and he shot. He hit three kids, and he hit one uh, a young lady in the chest who eventually uh, dies. Um, by the way, that, that, that young girl was an honest student and that's why it brings so much pain to me. But why was this kid able to shoot the gun? Because God has given everybody a free will. Now, when tragedies happen, we all get, um, we get so emotional. We start b blaming God and we say like, God, why my daughter and guy, God, why this? And a lot of times I've been, I felt like I've been cheated and I question God. And something we shouldn't do, as you know that I am a born and raised, I was born in the Christian faith, and uh, my beliefs are a little bit different, maybe, but I also felt lonely at times. I also felt pain and suffering, especially when my mother died. My mother died at 57. I was like, God, damn, she didn't, she, she didn't get to see my kids. She didn't get to see me get married. She didn't get to see my house. She didn't get to see me, you know... Uh, uh, drive the car my dream she didn't get to see uh, 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 any of these things so it kind of like uh, I felt cheated I felt cheated and I questioned God and it tests your faith and if you guys know the story of Jesus Christ even in the last day he was like God uh, father why have you forsaken me because he also went through pain and he also went through struggles and he also went through um, probably a harder or a rougher time than each and every one of, the, of us why because he was perfect and because he was perfect how can I say the road was a little more strict than, than ours. And, um, I also lost, lost a lot of friends. Uh, my high school, my college roommate got shot about eight times. Um, in Montana, my boy Rob, my best friend just passed away out of nowhere. I was FaceTiming him at 4 PM at 9 PM. He's pretty much dead. So I, I question God and, and, and what I fail to understand is that God is perfect. And when my mother died, I also uh, failed to understand that God is perfect and that when God has a plan, he has a plan, as harsh it may sound, you know, um, we go through pain, we go through suffering, but uh, pain and suffering produces growth. No matter how you put it, you could be in your lowest point today and be in your highest point tomorrow. When we, when we talk about suffering and pain, we talk about death, you know. So I believe that the free will God gave us, especially he gave us these two beautiful hands, right? If you still got hands, you are um, lucky, you know. He gave us two hands, and these two hands are, you could use them for two things, to build or destroy, to help or to kill. So... These kids that kill out there and take the innocent lives, they got a free will of doing that, not knowing that there's going to be a judgment day at the end of the day and that God sees everything. Um, one of my friends told me, is like, yeah, the Bible was written to keep everybody in, in check and everything. I was like, yeah, that's your belief. But I believe that a baby dies, gets shot in the head, just walking to the supermarket there's definitely the other side. And I believe that and I believe in God and I believe that after this, there'll definitely be something else, something better. Somewhere there's no more pain and suffering. We could be happy. We could all enjoy our loved ones that made it. But in order to make it there, you just can't make it uh, just because your free will will determine if you took advantage of the good and not the bad. So um, when these kids shoot each other, they do it, they, they're using their free will to destroy. And a lot of times it's in, innocent victims that go down. And, and I say that uh, 
environment, communities, neighborhoods are also uh, a higher risk to get dropped by a stray bullet. And you're more susceptible to die in these neighborhoods, you know. That's why we all should be working towards getting out of a situation if we're living in, like, the poorest congressional district in America like I did, you know, or any other hood. I love the hood. I go back to the hood. I pray for the hood. I want to put some boots in the ground in the hood where we could build and we could change things. So pain and suffering causes growth. No matter how you put it, no matter how you shape it, causes growth. When you think about, when you think about the good, you think about people that help, people that are there for others, no greed, no malice. And when you think of bad, you think selfish. Me, 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 me. When you think good is you serve others, you there for others. And when you think bad is me, 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 selfish, going all out for me. And that's not good. So another thing I wanted to say is that purpose doesn't prevent you from pain. We all have purpose in this world, and that doesn't prevent us from pain. I just got asked that question, and I just said, purpose doesn't prevent you from pain. We all must suffer. Believe it or not, everybody that hits the earth will suffer eventually. Um, I believe that everybody will eventually have a ministry, whether you're Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, Muslim, you will have a ministry. And that ministry will come through your deepest hurt. That ministry will come through your deepest hurt. And this all ties into why do bad things happen to good people? And like I was mentioning to a a friend this morning, I said, why do bad things happen to people? It's just a constant war between good and evil. A constant war between good and evil. And I always like to go back. I don't want to be too preachy or too churchy, but um, I always like to go back to Romans 8.28. And you you haven't read that one? That verse, Romans 8.28? You should go back to it and really try to let that sink in. But uh, it's unfortunate that we lose people. You know, um, if you know me, you know that I'm on God's time. And I'm tired of seeing the innocent fall. And if you lost somebody that was good, just know that it was God's plan. And just know they they sitting right beside his throne right now, just waiting for the last days to come so they could start rejoicing. Just think about it like that. You know, um, I know it's easier said than done when you have a family member that just passes through tragedy. But I'm telling you, it's all God is all God's plan and never forget that God is perfect. God sent his son out here, Jesus, and Jesus suffered through pain and sorrow and you know, he felt alone even till the last day he was here. So we all gonna go through things. And and it's bound to happen that we're gonna lose a lot, a lot of good, good people in this world. And you just gotta just give it all to God and and just uh, keep communication with God, and and God will definitely heal your soul. They said time heals wounds, not for me, not not after my mother. Um, I'm still broken, and after I lost my best friends, a couple of, a couple of my friends is just like you know you you like broken forever. But God definitely mends, you know, your heart when you when you uh when you get on your knees and pray and have an intimate relationship with Him. So. That's what I believe, man, that uh, it uh, is a constant war between good and evil, but it's also the free will, you know, and it's not your fault that these gang members are shooting and killing your kids. It's not your fault. It's just the area you're in is filled with demonic spirits. It's like a community in hell, you know, and um, that's why I preach the enlightenment and empowerment of the kids so that the kids could get to it, man, and just try to make a better way. You know, I was talking to my nephew yesterday. He's he he done got he just just took a different route. He went astray, 
and we trying to fix him up. We praying for him and we kind of like every day we talking to him and getting to it and letting him know that there's a better way, you know. Um, and that's about it, man. It's just uh, it's unfortunate for the good people we, lo- we, we lost in this world and it's going to continue happening. But all I could think about and all I could say is God's timing is God's perfect timing. God's timing is perfect. He's a perfect God. And he knows more than anything why he does it. With that being said, stay vigilant. Look around. Look around your surroundings. Pray before you leave your home. Pray when you get home because you don't know if you're really going to come back. I hate to be dramatic, but it's the true facts. You know, I'm in the Bronx every day. I look over my shoulder every day. I was looking over my shoulder before these guns were burning. But I just want to let y'all know that, you know, I love all you guys and thanks for tuning in and we back. And like I always say, I say this for a reason and it's for you guys to just really just go in peace and keep God in your heart. Keep God first. Everything will be good. Blessings to all. Changing dreams, fading, started hesitating Couldn't deal with the agitation It only led to the aggravation of not having The ones who had some things were stunting and bluffing Had to create my own path, my own luck Found my plug to make them bucks no longer stuck